Welcome to Declassifying the Paranormal. Here we reveal the secrets that sinister organizations attempt to conceal from the world, objects and entities that could shake the very foundations of what we think is, and is not, possible. Today we have secured documents belonging to the SCP Foundation, and will reveal to you the nature of SCP-6004-2. This is an accounting of even further developments of SCP-6004. Project Mongoose, an overview. Forward. Following the emergence of SCP-6004, multiple attempts at containment were made. Conventional means were quickly proven useless, and shortly afterwards so were even high-level Foundation devices. Hecor bounced off of its hide. Class Sigma autocannon fire passed through it. Scantron Reality Anchor derived devices had no effect. The key units that proved so effective against LSAs were at best bulldozed, and at worst totally ignored. In short, the Foundation needed a new weapon. Whether it would allow for SCP-6004's containment or its neutralization was deemed irrelevant. To this end the Foundation reached out to the Global Occult Coalition, whose prowess at killing anomalous entities was famed, feared and even hated throughout the anomalous community. Given the highly visible nature of SCP-6004, the GOC was already aware of the entity and were already working towards its neutralization. They were receptive towards a collaboration, and development soon began at both Site-19 and the GOC Advanced Weaponry Facility in Colorado, USA. Numerous resources were used, both mundane and anomalous. As SCP-6004 began to move over larger portions of the globe, development became increasingly desperate. Both Marshall Carter and Dark Limited and Church of the Broken God assets were recruited and used in the construction of the device, in addition to the combined resources of the GOC and the Foundation. This collaboration led to what has become known as Project Mongoose, a long-range charged particle emitter that draws on thaumaturgical and reverse siphon Hume energies to produce a devastating directed blast. It was agreed that the GOC would manufacture the charged particle emitter, while the Foundation would manufacture the barrel and focusing rings necessary to amplify and control the beam. Specialists from the COP BG aided both parties in the construction of these elements. Each site produced a smaller prototype for the purposes of testing, with one of these prototypes being fired at SCP-6004 during Incident 6004-Beijing. As of November 23, 2020, SCP-6004 has expanded its area of operation to encompass the entire globe. Multiple attacks within the Americas are being reported daily, and Project Mongoose has been completed. Due to the prototype's charge sequence causing the annihilation of all life forms within a 444 meters radius of it, all components have been fitted, mounted aboard a GOC class Lincoln satellite, and launched into orbit from where it will be fired remotely. Due to the immense energy requirements and complex reactions, Orbital Project Mongoose requires 444 seconds to fire after the location has been locked. As such, it is now the Foundation's responsibility to fire Orbital Project Mongoose at SCP-6004 when an opportunity arises, with all efforts being made to create such a window of opportunity. SCP-6004 Global Behavior Patterns Following Incident 6004-Beijing SCP-6004 was not seen for a period of nine days, remaining submerged in the world's oceans. An overall improvement in the health of coral reefs was detected, and numerous vessels were lost at sea in hurricanes and squalls. At this time remaining governments have taken shelter in subterranean bunkers, and a joint effort between the Foundation and the GOC has been working towards relocating and safely housing survivors of attacks by the entity, with both organizations producing food, medicine and power via anomalous means. During this time, SCP-6004 was detected beneath the Arctic ice pack. Pack ice could be seen thickening and expanding with the naked eye, returning to pre-1948 levels within two days. It then proceeded to circle an area slightly outside the Arctic Circle and portions of northern Siberia, Canada, and Alaska, consuming large numbers of livestock and humans. 
reports of flora and fauna lost during the quaternary extinction event appearing within these areas were proven correct through multiple satellite images. Glaciation rates in this area increased to a large degree, in some cases expanding over towns and a subterranean foundation site. Despite multiple attempts to target SCP-6004 with orbital project Mongoose, the entity proved too mobile for a lock to be made. SCP-6004 then shifted its focus to the Americas, causing widespread rainstorms, plant growth and reintroduction of endangered and extinct species coinciding with mass disappearances of civilian populations within densely populated cities throughout much of South America, with a particularly large portion of time and activity centered on the Amazon rainforest. The entity was observed to move over much of the Americas, changing direction seemingly at random but following the established pattern of targeting large urban centers and environmentally damaging installations. Of note, the entity was first seen in the United States of America when it attacked Washington, D.C. via the Potomac River. It was observed to actively engage with military forces by roaring and vocalizing at them before striking them with lightning. The attack took place over a 40-minute period where it proceeded to consume large portions of the city. Attempts to evacuate the U.S. president and staff failed when the Presidential Emergency Operations Center, a secure bunker constructed beneath the east wing of the White House designed to allow the President of the United States to safely govern during periods of crisis, was flooded when SCP-6004 caused the Potomac River to flood much of the city ruins. SCP-6004 continued in this fashion over much of the United States, Mexico and Canada striking particularly hard at large cities such as Toronto, Los Angeles, Mexic degrees Celsius D, New York City, Ottawa, and La Paz. Enormous stretches of land, approximately 43% of the United States, were converted to forest by anomalous rainfall generated by SCP-6004 with large numbers of people and animals being consumed and regurgitated by the entity. Of note, disruption to the United States power grid by SCP-6004 triggered the cascade failures of numerous nuclear power plants, necessitating foundation and gawk intervention to prevent multiple nuclear meltdowns from occurring. Foundation historians and archaeologists have conducted extensive research into Australian Aboriginal mythology, particularly in regards to the Rainbow Serpent. It is now believed that oral dreamtime stories passed down over millennia referred to confrontations with SCP-6004, and that the entity has attacked humanity before. These attacks have been preceded by periods of environmental instability, and were often resolved by various rituals, abandonment of environmentally damaging practices, or in some cases by guardian spirits, typically animal totems, such as the goada or crocodile, engaging the rainbow serpent in battle. Should Project Mongoose fail, the Foundation must consider influencing a significant shift in the way in which modern civilization functions so as to not draw the attention of SCP-6004 until containment becomes possible. The prospect of seeking out one of these protector spirits, with the goada Durong being seen as an ideal candidate, to intervene on behalf of the Foundation is also being considered. At this state, SCP-6004-S range is to be considered global. Foundation and GOC political ambassadors are encouraging world governments to limit military activity and to move their populations outside of urban areas. Areas not targeted by SCP-6004 have been prioritized as temporary resettlement locations, and efforts are being made to safely provide housing for the world's population without drawing the attention of SCP-6004. Activation of Project Mongoose After a period of 49 days of activity over the Americas with no opportunity to activate orbital Project Mongoose, SCP-6004 began displaying interest in numerous foundation and gawk facilities. The entity would often circle sites but not approach for unknown reasons. It was during one of these events on the December 24, 2020 that SCP-6004 began examining Global Occult Coalition Advanced Weaponry Facility, one of the two locations where Project Mongoose was developed. At 4.37 p.m. SCP-6004 began to investigate the Advanced Weapons Facility, exhibiting signs of agitation. 
Satellite imaging showed the facility enter a lockdown with multiple weapons platforms, including the Gawk-operated Mongoose prototype, being activated. It was at this time that the O5 Council voted 8-5 to fire orbital project Mongoose upon both SCP-6004 and the Advanced Weapons Facility. The following is a log of the ensuing events. Video log. Date, December 24, 2020. Note, the following events were captured via satellite imagery aboard various Foundation monitoring satellites, as well as cameras mounted aboard the Orbital Project Mongoose satellite platform. Begin log. 4.38 p.m. SCP-6004 can be seen circling the Gawk Advanced Weapons Facility, AWF, on the ground, appearing increasingly agitated. The AWF has initiated a lockdown, with multiple weapons platforms tracking the entity. Of note is a Project Mongoose prototype, which appears to be charged and ready to fire. 4.38 p.m. Orbital Project Mongoose is activated and begins its charging sequence. Guidance rails and focusing rings can be seen moving into position as the barrel system aims at both the AWF and SCP-6004. Green light and wailing vocalizations begin emitting from the device, causing numerous visual glitches and illusions to appear on footage acquired from onboard cameras. A full log of these errors can be seen in document 6004-Mongoose-Illusions. Doc access to orbital project Mongoose is blocked. 4.39 p.m. The Doc attempts to contact Site-19, but are ignored. Multiple attempts to access Project Mongoose are detected and blocked. Diplomatic ambassadors are sent to meeting sites to ensure GOC cooperation. 4.39 p.m. SCP-6004 vocalizes loudly and continues circling the site, seeming to direct the vocalizations at the AWF. 4.40 p.m. Movement from SCP-6004 causes a portion of the AWF's exterior to separate from the surrounding mountainside, resulting in unidentified weapons platform mounted to this region to fire prematurely. The projectile impacts SCP-6004's tail and detonates violently but causes no damage to the entity. 4.40 p.m. SCP-6004 ceases vocalizing at the AWF for a moment before roaring and coiling back into a striking position. Multiple weapons platforms begin firing at the entity, and numerous shielding devices can be seen activating. Wind speeds immediately increase drastically and rainstorms spontaneously generate. 4.41 p.m. Orbital Project Mongoose begins emitting pulses of energy as it enters its criticality stage. 4.41 p.m. SCP-6004 strikes at the AWF, destroying a large portion of the mountainside which the site is housed in. The AWF Mongoose prototype fires at SCP-6004 with a sustained beam following the entity's movements. The beam can be seen visibly irritating SCP-6004's skin on contact and causes it to recoil and begin dodging the beam, vocalizing loudly and staring at the prototype. 4.42 p.m. Multiple energy pulses are seen emitting from the AWF's Mongoose prototype, annihilating all vegetation within 200 meters of the weapon. Multiple lightning bolts strike at the site, but are redirected by Gawk shield generators. SCP-6004 attempts to fling large portions of earth and rock toward the Mongoose prototype with its tail, but is unsuccessful due to the site's shielding system. SCP-6004 continues to move evasively. 4.43 p.m. Following several seconds of uninterrupted impact from the Mongoose prototype, SCP-6004 roars and emits a stream of multicolored energy from its mouth toward the prototype causing it to misfire and re-enter a charging phase. SCP-6004 proceeds to wrap around the mountain and strike down at the Mongoose prototype, resulting in a massive energy discharge. This discharge is largely negated by remaining shielding devices. 4.43 p.m. Orbital Project Mongoose readies to fire. 4.44 p.m. SCP-6004 continues to strike down at the AWF breaching the top of the facility. 
Gestock operatives can be seen within attempting to evacuate the facility, with some directing small arms fire at the entity. SCP-6004 roars and rears back in preparation for another strike. 4.44 p.m. Orbital Project Mongoose fires a sustained beam, with resultant vocalizations, reported as sounding like a metallic scream, being heard by surrounding satellites, and in a 44 kilometers radius of the AWF. SCP-6004 raises its head toward the source of the noise, and is engulfed in the beam along with the AWF. The beam's impact annihilates the AWF, with the weapon's energy flood and negative Hume field disintegrating all life forms within a 444 kilometers radius. 4.47 p.m. Orbital Project Mongo ceases firing on the orders of the O5 Council. The Gok AWF and surrounding mountains have been completely destroyed, with a large crater having been formed by the beam's impact. SCP-6004 can be seen within the crater and surrounding areas of devastation, displaying moderate burns over much of its body. 4.47 p.m., SCP-6004 rises from the ground and roars, thrashing its head and tail as lightning emits from multiple points on its body and the burns to its scales heal rapidly. Rainfall and wind speed intensifies, and the entity begins to rapidly expand and coil around itself, looking upwards. Visual contact is lost as storm clouds thicken. The O5 Council orders Orbital Project Mongoose to fire again. 4.47 p.m. Orbital Project Mongoose fires a second sustained beam at SCP-6004, clearing much of the generated storm clouds. SCP-6004 can be seen struggling against the beam and coiling on the ground before rapidly launching itself upwards. 4.48 p.m., SCP-6004's head approaches Orbital Project Mongoose. Firing ceases automatically as proximity sensors detect an imminent collision with the entity. SCP-6004 proceeds to grab the Project Mongoose satellite platform within its mouth, causing catastrophic damage to the Mongoose before falling back down to the upper troposphere and rapidly approaching Site-19. End log Following the failure of Project Mongoose, all contact with Site-19 was lost. Later assessment discovered that the upper levels of the site had suffered catastrophic damage. In keeping with SCP-6004's pattern of devastation, the upper six levels had collapsed and been strangled by extremely robust vegetation. A majority of the structure's upper floors had been displaced, with the remains of Project Mongoose largely annihilated. Multiple safe and nuclear class SCP objects had breached containment, being either destroyed in the event or still currently missing. The lower levels of the site remain uncompromised. Rescue efforts following the attack were able to evacuate 80% of surviving staff. The following statement was provided by site technician A. Wagner. I, uh, I was working on a broken fast access cart down in Euclid Block. All the lights went red and the alarms were going off, so I rolled out from underneath and started running to the shelters. You know, pretty standard stuff. I thought it was a containment breach, yeah? Then the banging and the explosions started. It felt like an earthquake, everything was shaking, you could hear the upper levels caving in, even. I was so busy looking at the supports that I didn't watch my feet, and I fell got trampled pretty bad. The bulkhead shut before I could get into the shelter and I was fucked. I ran down to the workshop, there was an LSA attack vehicle there with shit brakes. I jumped in, held my hands over my ears and watched the security feed before it went down. It felt like I was watching the end of the world, the fucking snake had crushed the whole eastern compound, thrown a satellite or some shit into the admin ward. All the guns and missiles were unloading on it and it was like trying to put out a wildfire with a water balloon. I saw it scream on the video, I heard it all the way down. 23, 24 floors down. Ruptured both my eardrums. Then it started blasting us with that rainbow lightning, the feet cut out and the roof collapsed. Water started pouring in and I thought I was going to drown. I'm glad it started draining down to one of the lower levels. I could hear the people in the bunker screaming, something had gotten in there with them. 
I don't want to know what. Then just like that there was another quake and it had gone. MTFs rolled in not long after, rescued those of us who'd survived, got started on getting the SIPs back in their cells. Heard a lot of the D-class guys help with the rescuing. I'm just glad it didn't try and dig down to the rest of the site. Following rescue and excavation efforts, it was determined through witness interviews that SCP-6004 had attacked Site-19 largely the use of the same energy seen in Beijing and the GAW KWF, throwing orbital project Mongoose at the site's administrative wing, and by physically landing on the eastern compound before striking at the main site. This was confirmed by the recovery of the Guardian AI, an automated defensive AI, program to autonomously operate site-wide defense systems, LOG, which documented the AI's attempts to defend the site from SCP-6004. Addendum 6004-5 Recovered Guardian AI Log Threat Detected SCP-6004 Approaching Site Arrival Imminent Secondary Threat Detected Project Mongoose Weapons Platform Damaged Calculating Calculating Calculating. 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 Site destruction probability, 96%. Defenses engaged. Shield strength, 100%. Ammunition reserves, 98%. Distress signal, engaged. Calculating. 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 Alerts sounded. Projected staff survival rate, 23%. Containment wings, sealed. Target systems, locked. Firing. All weapon systems firing. Calculating. 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 Imminent attack detected, SCP-6004, electrical projectile attack. Shield strength, 0%, shields offline. Estimated casualties, 18,000 tilde. Impact detection, east wing. Estimated casualties, 48,000 tilde. Structures damaged. Transport Depot, Staff Barracks, Cafeteria, East Wing Scientific Development, East Wing Armory. Threat Detected, Project Mongoose Weapons Platform, Damaged. Launched by SCP-6004. Projected Impact, Surface Administrative Building. Weapon Systems Engage Threat, Negative Risk of Triggering Project Mongoose Energy Pulse. Threat Detected. Flash flooding entering site. Impact detection. Surface administrative building. Estimated casualties. 51,000 tilde. Structures damaged. Surface administrative building. Impact detection. SCP-6004 electrical projectile attack. Affected area of site. Surface. 87%. Affected area of site, subterranean, 39%. Calculating. 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 Weapon systems, offline. Safe class containment wing, compromised. Nuclear class containment wing, partially compromised. Keter class containment wing, uncompromised. Calculating. 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 Threat detected. Imminent physical strike from SCP-6004 upon main structure. Reserve power redirection. Kinetic shields. Kinetic shield power. 493%. Impact detected. Central containment structure. Kinetic shields. Offline. Structures damaged. 
Levels minus 26 through 19. Safe Class Containment Wing. Euclid Class Containment Wing. Keter Class Containment Wing. Research Wings 000-263. Engineering Wings 000-96. Estimated casualties, 273,000 tilde. Threat detected, multiple containment breaches. SCP objects breached, data expunged, SCP-173, data expunged, SCP-939, data expunged, SCP-131, SCP-312, SCP-058. Threat detected, flooding of lower levels. Threat detected. Loss of power to Guardian AI mainframe. Estimated remaining operational time. 28 seconds. Calculating. 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 Redirecting power, recontainment and security systems. Estimated remaining operational time, 19 seconds. Containment wings, sealed. Personnel shelters, active. Calculating. 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 Estimated remaining operational time, 12 seconds. Drainage systems, activated. Threat departure, SCP-6004 exiting area. Estimated remaining operational time, 4 seconds. Auxiliary Guardian AI power, rerouting to auto doctor stations. Calculating. 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 Guardian AI goodbye, friends. Be soft. Power lost. Thank you for tuning in. We hope that you enjoyed this broadcast. If you did, please subscribe, like, and share it around. If you have any particular case files you'd like us to cover in future broadcasts, leave a comment below and we'll get around to it shortly. Tune in again tomorrow for more revelations.